All right, what's going on, people? Shigas Clouds here yet again, bringing you more news updates. And for today, I need to talk about a couple of things. I need to clear up some stuff. So let's get right to it. Starting off, Uzumaki Kushina is in fact playable, confirmed now. So for everyone that's saying, what if she's just a character in the story mode and she's just like the Edo Kage's in Storm 3? No, she's a playable character. She's playable in free battle, online, all that stuff. All right, so let's all shut up about that shit now, okay? Moving on. Now we're going to talk about game modes. So apparently everyone's thinking Storm Revolution is just a filler game and they aren't putting any cannon into it. Well, you're wrong. As I stated in my previous video, I don't think none of you understood, but they are following the anime and that doesn't necessarily mean there is no canon. When they said they are not following the manga, they only meant they are following the pacing of the anime speed. So you're not going to see any crazy spoilers in this game. That is what they're basically trying to say to you. That being said, we have four to five months left, so that is quite a while, 20 episodes, they have some ground to cover. So, now that that's out of the way, let's go to the next thing, which conveniently joins with the rest of what I just said. So, there will be three game modes. Yes, not two, not one, three. All right, so, these will be offline modes. Let me read a quote from the CEO of CyberConnect2. I quote, In Revolution, our story will span the Naruto world up until the final anime episode. Now, what he meant by final anime episode, he basically meant the latest episode on air, which is around September when Revolution comes out. So it's probably just a translation error. They are not literally following up to the last final fucking episode of the series. What are you, stupid? No, there are some silly people in this world, so I had to clear that up. Anyway, continuing the quote. In addition to that, we've included a new game mode, so we try to go a bit beyond the story and give a new ninja experience to the players. End of quote. So what he's saying is, not only is he following the main story in Revolution, he is also adding more to it like sprinkles on a cake. So we get the main story, and on top of that, we get exclusive animated episodes that we've previously seen in trailers and screenshots. Now, I don't think it's going to be a full-fledged story like Storm 3. No, it's going to be more like the Generation story, where it's just slideshows, probably. That's what I'm guessing anyway. Because if it was a full-fledged animated CGI story like before, they would have showed it by now. So don't get your hopes up thinking it's going to be like some fucking 3D Matrix shit. All right, moving on. I got sidetracked. Where was I? That's right, the offline modes. Okay, so they mentioned three modes. Ninja War mode, Ninja Escapade mode, and the Ninja World Tournament mode. So the Ninja War mode is most likely the main story. Ninja Escapade mode is the special episodes. There will be three episodes in this Escapade mode. The creation of Akatsuki, the two Uchiha, and one yet to be revealed, which is most likely going to be something linked to Kushina, as we've just seen in these screenshots. And just a side note, all three of these episodes are written by Masashi Kishimoto, the creator of Naruto. So, if you think CyberConnect2 was pulling stuff out of their ass to make this episode, you're wrong. Anyway, that's about it for this video. I just wanted to clear some things up, show you some new screenshots while I'm at it, and that's pretty much it. As for the screenshots, there isn't really much to say about it. We've seen some of them in the scan. Kushina looks to be like some sort of goofy fighting character with a frying pan. And no, not a fucking tennis racket. What the fuck is this? For the ones that thought that was actually a tennis racket. You guys make me laugh. All right. The screenshots of the animated scenes look pretty cool. We're seeing a lot more of Rin. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Rin as a character in this game. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Rin as a playable character, anybody? We've seen Kushina, so I mean, anything can happen. No? I don't know. That's it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I read every comment, so don't worry about that. I'll most likely respond to some questions too. And... Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. This is Shiggas Clouds, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey.